Hello Internet, and welcome to this tutorial on imaging PlayStation 2 discs. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there's a couple reasons. A, for my case, for an example, I want to actually play some PlayStation 2 discs legally, meaning not downloading them on the internet off of some random site pirating the games. And the second reason is to simply archive the discs, especially if they're starting to get damaged. Now, in order to do this, you need two different programs. For imaging your discs, you need ImageBurn. And to play said games, you need PCSX2. I must note that you do need the actual physical copy of the disc and something that could read the disc like a DVD player. To start, open up ImageBurn and insert your disc. Now click Create Image File from Disk. And it's reading the disk, and there's the output file. I've already done this, but for purposes of this video, I will do it again. I will save this one on the desktop. PCSX can work with ISO files, but I don't believe ImageBurn likes putting them out as ISO files, but you can use also use them as bin files or IMG files. And once you've selected your destination by clicking on that file icon and then going to wherever you want to put it, hit this. Now in my specific case, because I'm using a CD game, it's really not going to take that long to fully image it. However, I will still cut that out. And after it's done, you should hear that chime. Not exactly a fan of it, but hey, I don't use this program that often, so I can't complain that much. So yeah, as you, as you were able to see, it just took 53 seconds. So for a CD game, it does not take long, that long to copy. Okay, now we can close out of this and open PCSX2. We get this menu over here. Now, I've already done a little bit of pre-configuring with this uh, program. But uh, basically, to get the best emulation results, you should probably go to config GSDX settings. And instead of default hardware device, you should probably go down to whatever the graphics processor is and use Direct3D 11 or whatever the higher, highest version of Direct3D is that your computer will support. Now to load the game, uh, you can go to CDVD, ISO selector, and browse. If we can go to desktop and the game file. Now, we can boot the game. In this case, I'll do full because I'm like that. And with a paired Xbox One controller, I can play these games. And this game actually functions really well with this emulator. And that's only because, you know, this game is really simple in that it's a bunch of arcade games. As you can see, this emulator is running Namco Museum, the 2001 version, just fine.
Alright, well I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Have a nice day.